Ambush on Ferrix is one of the newest Star Wars sets for the 2022 Summer Wave of products. Now there's a lot of unknowns about this model because it is tied with the new Disney Plus show Ender that will only air in August, so let's try our best here. A known thing about the model though is Cassian Ender, a Star Wars character that we've seen before in Rogue One. So Ambush on Ferrix must have happened somewhere before the events that took place in Rogue One for obvious reasons, but I won't spoil it to you if you're unaware. Brand new minifigure and the outfit looks amazing. It has a skin tone that I don't think I've ever seen before in LEGO minifigures and you can tell the difference when you place him next to Luthan Kale, another new minifigure that has the skin tone I'm more familiar with in regards to IP based minifigures. Again, amazing outfit in the olive green LEGO color. Lastly there's Cyril Karn, sporting more of an officer type of clothing with very nice detailing in the torso area. His hat is also printed and out of the three minifigures of the set, the only one that does not feature a double printed hat. Cassian and Luthan drive this massively oversized speeder bike. I was not able to find the proper seating position where the driver also manages to hold the steering, so there's that. It seats both minifigures comfortably though and has clips on the sides for their weapons. I quite like the design overall, especially this whip element down here that wraps around this bar element. But other than that I don't find much to talk about it and the support down here is a bit flimsy. The main thing about this model though is the mobile tech pod. The design kinda reminds me of a shrunken down gunship, especially if you look at it from the back. A back which opens by the way, revealing not a whole lot except for some clips to store weapons. The wings have stickers for details and can be adjusted for flight and landing, but feel that should have been a little bit bigger. At the top there's a cannon that can rotate and tilt, and this wouldn't be a Star Wars LEGO model for kids if it didn't have stud shooters. At the front another weapon, and the overall shaping of this section is really good in my opinion. It was a bit tricky to build though as I made a mistake early on and since there are a lot of different types of wedge plates all in the same color it took me a while to figure out what was wrong. There's some interior to the model that can be accessed by raising the cockpit area making good use of a printed windscreen element from the LEGO Speed Champions theme and also lowering the side panels of the whole section that also feature some stickers. The cockpit's control panels are also stickers unfortunately but they look okay and in the middle section there's there's plenty of space to seat 4 minifigures in total. If problems arise there's a fire extinguisher to solve it all. It was a fun build and the way some of the building techniques and angles on the ship were achieved was really smart. The price of the model though is a bit of a shocker. All of this costs $70 and I don't feel you get a lot even though the tech mobile is quite bulky and part intensive. For a mere $30 more you can get BD-1 and comparing the two side by side you kinda feel that you're getting more out of the droid, right? I'm working as fast as I can on the droids review so you can check it here when it's done or you can check another video instead that YouTube thinks you'll really like in the meantime. As for Ambush on Ferrix it was an overall good model, fun build and great minifigures, but the stickers, oversized speeder bike and the price don't convince me though. 